In the previous video, we learned about inline functions in MATLAB, which are functions that we can define inside a script and they can only be called within the script that they've been written in. The other type of functions in MATLAB file is function files, which, is, which are functions that we can call in any script as long as they are in the working directory that we are uh, working on. So let's start with a simple example function result is equal to let's call this I forgot this is not correct so function result is equal to func1 both x and y and put an end in here and here I want to say result is equal to x plus y and I can save this as the same name that I've defined in here, so func1. And I can start a script, say clear, close all, clc, res is equal to func1, and MATLAB will recognize this as the function and give me the options to input the parameters. So I'm just, I'm just going to pass 2 and 3 and I'm expecting to see 5 as the output and that actually shows up there. And if I change this 3 to 7 I'm expecting to see 9 and that happens. Now let's start with a more complicated function. Uh, I'm going to write a function to find the viscous forces that are applied to a circular fiber moving in air or any medium. And that's basically Stokes equation for this analysis. So I'm going to call function result is equal to viscous force. And I need to input some variables into this function. A is for the radius of the fiber. Then I have omega as the angular frequency, rho as the density, mu as uh, viscosity, and u as velocity. And let's put an end in here. First I need to define a variable called m and which is square root of 1i times omega times rho divided by mu. Now the result is going to be equal to a function this big u is equal to u or result is equal to u times rho times a times 1i times omega times pi divided by m multiplied by and I'm going to go to the next line 4 times Bessel k so Bessel functions show up a lot during uh, differential equations Bessel j, Bessel k, uh, Bessel i and Bessel h there are all functions that show up if I click help or type help Bessel J for instance see that it's a Bessel function of the first kind and it takes couple inputs new and Z new is the order and Z is the value that we want to uh, do uh, our um, Bessel function on and these are I think Stokes come, came up with these functions and as I said they show up a lot in um, differential equations. So Bessel k, the first thing I want to input is the order which is 1 and the parameter is m times a and this would be divided by another Bessel k and let me put a space here Bessel k, this time it's 0 and again m times a and this would be added by m times a and this would constitute my function file so I can save it as visc force just keep it like that and I come back to my script and write something more, more meaningful so I want to start with frequency call it a thousand so frequency I wanted to create a comment frequency is a thousand Hertz 
omega is going to be 2 times pi times frec or frequency. This is the angular frequency. U, the velocity is going to be 1. So velocity of fluid or fiber. Rho, the density of air is equal to 1.2041 density of air mu is equal to 1.8705 if I'm correct e minus 5 and this is the dynamic viscosity viscosity of air and I think that's all the variables I need to input besides the radius of the fiber, which I want to say 5 microns, 5 e to the minus 6. So radius of fiber is equal to 5 micrometers. The force then becomes viscous force. And I need to input some variables, rad for A, omega for angular uh, frequency rho for density mu for um, dynamic viscosity and u for velocity and if i run this i come to workspace i see some forces shown up in here just do force you see that this is a complex number so this is just for one frequency but where this function file becomes handy is if i had multiple frequencies so if I say this is log space 1, 2, 4, and 100 multiplied by 2 gives me 100 frequencies um, from 10, 20 to 20,000, then I can start a for loop. CNT is equal to 1, 2 length frequency and end it here. Now let's say force is equal to zeros size f. And here I can just put CNT or force CNT is equal to that. And I want to just give one frequency at a time into my function. So I can just run this and something that I forgot, this is that. Okay, now I have a force which is 100 arrays long and I can use this to plot the function. So I can say figure position is 100, 100, 800, 800, subplot 211 and do a log log of frequency and the real part of force then do a subplot two one two and log log which means both x and y axis should be logarithmic on the x axis or the horizontal axis i want to type the frequency and in the other side i want to say image of force and if I run this you can see that the real and imaginary part of force are being plotted I can again uh, do more stuff with these plots I can change the line width to uh, 1.5 same in here which I've done in my previous um, videos about manipulating the figures. But right now I'm just saying that from the frequency, for, for these frequencies I have got these uh, uh, plots and these values. So in this video I taught how to use a function file like this when, when I could use an equation as long as the one that I found or viscous uh, Stokes found for viscous forces applied to a circular fiber and I can use that function file here 
run it multiple times, get values, and uh, fill in a variable, and then do the plots with that.